would you like to learn how to paint this popular paint night artwork? I'll show you step by step. Just follow me in my studio. Hi, I'm Natalie. On my channel, I love to create, to uplift women, and I do that through painting workshops, tutorials. I do art journaling and Bible journaling as well. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Also share my videos and I'd love a little comment so that we can start a conversation. Let's get started with today's video. Oh, and make sure you look in the description because I give you everything I, I use to paint and do my art journaling and Bible journaling as well. So make sure to look at the description so that you get my link and I'd love for you to buy through me. That'd be great. Thanks. So today we're doing this very popular paint night uh, artwork. We're going to use acrylics. So I have blue, white, some black, uh, green, red, and gold. I'll give you a list of everything I use in my paint for, to do my painting. So I have three brushes and I'll, uh, again, in the description below, I'll give you exactly what I use. So first I'm going to add some water in my painting tray. I buy those at uh, the dollar store. I really like them. I like how they separate my colors. So I started by adding about five drops of water, a little bit of white, a little bit of green, and I want to do my background. So I'm just going to apply the paint with brush strokes up and down, creating a fan effect. So I want to go like, you know, like, like rays. Like the sun would be shining, but green rays all across my canvas my canvas is a 16 by 20 canvas you do you can do the painting on a smaller canvas as well I add quite a bit of water in my paint because um, I just want to get the almost a watercolor effect. I'm painting water and I want to give some transparency. So I'm going to accelerate the, vi the video a little bit. I think you get the idea of the first step. Of course, feel free to Pause the video uh, whenever you uh, you need to. So for the next section. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to create kind of a lighter blue and I didn't rinse my brush. I'm just uh, adding a little bit of blue into some white and uh, removing the excess paint. I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the green. I'm actually going to flip my canvas. So I invite you to do that as well. It's just easier um, to, uh, to control your paintbrush like that. So I'm going, I'm doing the opposite motion. So instead of uh, going out with the fan, I'm keeping the perspective going to the bottom of my canvas. So uh, again, I'm adding a little bit more water to my paint because I don't want the blue to be too thick. And also I want to keep it consistent with my um, application of the green. So when I do my brush strokes, I overlap the green so that I pick up a little bit of green, bring it onto the blue, uh, and then some blue going into the green. It's just creating a very cool transition and giving me that transparency effect of the lighter blue of the ocean. I mean, the lighter blue-green or, or green of the ocean and going deeper uh, into the, the more blue, blue-purple, and eventually we're gonna do some, uh, some black at the bottom.
I'm keeping an eye on my the image that I printed just so um, it tells me how high up I want to do my brush strokes and bring the blue onto the green. So once your canvas is fully dry, secure your stencil along with a piece of carbon paper underneath to trace your, transfer your image. Uh, in the description below, you have a small stencil that you can print. The stencil is for a smaller canvas. A good size would be a nine by 11 or eight by 10 or a little larger, 11 by 14 would work as well. Now I'm creating more of a almost lilac color, like a light purple. I'm keeping it light, so I'm just basically using the same color I used for the blue of uh, the bottom of the canvas. And I'm, yet, I'm adding a little bit of water, a little bit of red, and just mixing that all together so that uh, it gives me a thinner paint. I don't want it to be thick because I still want some transparency. I want to be able to see my guidelines. So again, refer to your image so that you see where to apply the light purple color. And you basically paint the sea plant at the uh, foreground. Like just before we do the black, we do the plants that are a little bit fur farther away. And we're using this color to give it uh, a really cool effect. It can be a little bit confusing. Uh, because we traced two outlines of the C plants. Uh, so uh, if you wanted, you could just do the light purple first and paint that, let that dry, and then reuse your stencil and just trace the lines for the black outlines. So with my medium brush, I'm doing some brush strokes from the top of my canvas, kind of following my background uh, direction, just with a very little paint on my brush. It's almost a, a dry brush and I add a little bit of water as well for transparency. Then I clean my brush and I do the same thing with white paint.
Now with my small brush, I'm starting to paint my turtles. So I added some red paint to my black and a little bit of water. I accelerated the video a little bit because it's pretty straightforward. And now we're gonna move on to the other turtle. Again, I accelerated the video just a little bit. Feel free to stop or pause the, the, the video just to catch up. Also, I'm going to paint the, all the plants at the bottom. So I'm going to continue with the black paint and do the plants that are traced. So um, I apologize. My, I, I thought I was recording, but I guess I missed a, a part of it. But again, it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to paint over your guidelines. I kept uh, my small brush for most of the work at the bottom of the canvas, uh, except when I do the larger area, I use the medium brush. So I added a few touches of blue on, my, on the black just to uh, lighten the color a little bit. So then I, I just paint with my medium brush over it and you can see how it's giving me a lighter effect at the bottom. So now with the back of my brush, I just dip my brush in that purple color that we did the other plants and I'm just doing some little dots. And then I continue to use the back of my brush and I just drag it along some, some of the, the rocks at the bottom just to create uh, some light effect because you do have the rays coming into the water and it's going to create at the bottom of the ocean, uh, it's going to reflect the, the light from above. Just a little bit, I didn't put too much. Then I'm moving on to the gold with my small brush and I'm adding a little bit of gold to give that light effect again. Uh, just a little bit on the purple plants and also a little bit on the background. And also I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the turtles just so they are catching some of that light as well. So I just do a few brush strokes, a few dots here and there. It's amazing what a little highlight can create. I always like to highlight some of the rounded part of, of my paintings. Gives you that uh, 3D effect. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do at the end of a painting, either with a lighter color, like a white, an off-white, or gold. And it's up to you how much you want to add it, uh, uh, how, how much you want to use at the end. And I'm painting a little fish and I'm using the same purple color. You're welcome to add more creatures in the water if you want. Again, I'm just adding a few dots here and there. Now, this is more of the, the blue, the blue purple color. I really like how this painting turned out. It's a simple painting, but it really gives you a big effect. I 
I'm just kind of playing with the bottom of my painting right now, just kind of adding just little dots, little last detail. Again, I want to say that this is not an original of mine. Uh, my client, one of my clients wanted to do this painting for a fundraiser. So she went on to, uh, on the uh, Paint Night website. So if someone knows who the artist is, just leave it in the comment. I'd like to uh, give credit. So the last color is our gold. You just want to add a few brush strokes at the bottom of the ocean just to create the effect of um, just reflecting the light coming from above. And then that's it. It's a simple enough painting, like I was saying, but it's a lot of fun and I hope you give it a try maybe invite a few friends to paint with you so i hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel give me a, a like if you enjoyed my video and why don't you connect with me on social media i'm at uh, pause and paint p-a-u-s-e and paint and uh, on instagram and twitter at paint with nat